For the first module of this session, we're going to be diving into hybridization. Now, when it comes to hybridization and retail, it's all about creating a seamless interaction for consumers to switch between online, offline, and everything in between. Now, what we do understand about consumers is that they no longer want to shop from one singular platform like their smartphone or just their desktop or even just online. Instead, they wanna be able to use these platforms interchangeably and not necessarily exclusively. So to dive into our first insight, brick and modem, this is truly looking at how whether your brand is a digital native or it began as physical real estate, the future success will really depend on your willingness and seamlessness to combine these entities. Our first example comes to us from Fred Siegel and MasterCard. This is rock and roll holy land. It's essentially giving consumers a different way to window shop. So as you can see, the storefront kind of looks like a museum and it's actually designed to look like that. But all of these products are shoppable. So whether you want to actually go into the store to shop or stay outside, you can actually download the Tap to Shop app. You can simply hover over the item you want to purchase and it will automatically be entered into your shopping cart. You can then come back to the store later on to pick up your items or actually have them shipped directly to your house. Another really amazing example is Bingo Box. Now, Bingo Box is essentially China's version of the Amazon Go retail experience. It leverages technology for entry as well as checkout. And this is actually a store that's on wheels. So it's allowed to move throughout different neighborhoods within China in order to reach a greater number of consumers. So when it comes to retail retreat, this is how we are actually seeing brands essentially displaying their products in really efficient and testable ways that eases the pressure for consumers to make an immediate purchase. So taking a look at a couple examples, one of my favorite examples actually comes from a lifestyle brand called Muji. Now they had this idea that they really wanted to just display their products without having consumers actually purchase them. So they did this by creating an entire hotel. Now, of course, everything within this hotel is completely outfitted with Muji products, not just in the rooms, but in the libraries, in the dining rooms, and even in the lounge areas as well. The hotel was so successful that Muji actually began creating Airbnb style apartments that consumers can actually rent out. And again, everything is completely outfitted in just Muji products. So that wraps up our first module on hybridization, where we took a look at how retailers are really creating a seamless interaction for consumers and really combining both the online and offline worlds of shopping. So for some workshop questions for you to consider, how can you integrate your brand or products into adjacent markets? And what is one industry that you could tap for inspiration? And we'll see you back here for our second module.